Thank you. Welcome. What was that for? Making all my dreams come true. <laughs> Jack, sweetheart. Yeah. Um, since this is this is my honeymoon, right? Mm -hmm. So you need to tell me um, where we're going. Who says? I mean, who says? It's in all the. The honeymoon manuals and things. Well, well, they have honeymoon manuals. You can look at the pictures. Okay, let me just explain something to you. If you would like to take any pictures, if you know what I mean, <laughs> yeah. of me on our honeymoon, right. then just tell me where we're going. I already told you. No, you didn't. Well, what happened to trusting me? Sweetheart, I trust you, but you know that will never make me any less curious. Okay, all that matters is where we're going is warm, yeah. Uh, there's no snow, and when we get there, uh, we are not going to look back, okay? Okay. And we're going to share the life that we always wanted to share. So, I'm, I'm willing to give you some clues if uh, you want to guess the destination. Okay, um, is there a town nearby? Yeah, and there's one, um, it's within walking distance, there's winding roads. Oh, there's winding roads. Yeah. That's yeah. a good clue. Right. Um, because that describes every single village in Italy. Well, there, there's a big blue guy who walks around in the ocean, and he has a big uh, fork. Uh, and it's named after him because one day he wanted to do some gardening, and he kind of, kind of dug out the whole coast. I mean, that's what the... Brochure says. Should we get you a new travel agent? I'm just trying to give you, I'm trying to give you a clue. Um, okay. But what does a big blue gardener have to do with whatever village is within walking distance of where we're Because it's named after the big blue guy. Oh, really? Is it Neptune? Put you put in Poseidon? Getting close. It's not Positano. <laughs> Is it Positano? Yes. Hey, really? We get a villa, we can stay as long as we want. Oh, I love Positano. And, and the water is so crystal blue when the sun hits it, I can't tell you. How do you know that? Because I hear what word you say. Oh, I'm starting to get excited about this. Yeah? We can walk on the beach every day, and we can go into the little villa. Oh, and you know what? We can just stay in the villa if we want and have everything brought to us. I want to keep lives. you all to myself. I'm flattered and suspicious. Why are you suspicious? Because I just, I'm wondering if these are all kind of last minute plans because you're just trying to hide me from Theo. I don't want you to think about Theo or Suzanne or anything else. No, but I, I I don't want you to say that to me. I mean, you know that I like to know what's going on. Okay, what well, you know what's going on? Our honeymoon. And that's it. <laughs> Everything else, it doesn't matter at this point. Sweetheart, you know that revenge is what has caused all of this. And, and, I, and I don't, I really do not want to spend our whole entire honeymoon with you managing the search for Theo. He damn near killed you. I don't care. I'm, I, I'll be fine. You'll keep me safe. Okay. Look, forget Theo right now. Let's think, listen to me. We're going to think about you and me. We're going to paradise. Because you know what? No one, and I mean no one, is ever going to hurt you again. Mm -hmm. Okay? Okay. Where you came from? What story? That incredibly interesting story that you just told me. The blue guy. With the fork. Well, may, oh yeah. Well, maybe somebody looked out into the ocean and saw something they couldn't explain, so they made up a story, so that way the story would make sense, and they wouldn't be frightened anymore. It's kind of like what you're trying to do with me right now. Like tell me all these stories about paradise and love, so that I won't be afraid. Work, right? Not really. <laughs> you know, when I was uh, when I was on the plane, I was flying back to Port Charles with Jason. And, uh, <clears throat> I was so...
strangely hopeful, even though you and I had discussed, you know, that we were going to go our separate ways and stay out of each other's lives when we saw each other in Rome. I just, I don't know, I hoped that we'd end up together again. I never stopped wanting you. I really did. Yeah. I mean, can you imagine, look at this, all the, all the mistakes we made, all the dreams we gave up, and I got to tell you something. It was one dream I, I, I never wanted to let go of. Baby mine, don't you cry.